Welcome back to Wood Acres. Today we made some progress on the rain harvest system. <laughs> it's actually already evening and I have Dabbles and the ducks out here playing in their swimming pool, getting all cleaned up. Me and my dad did some work on the rain harvest system today. So I didn't get the video started yet today because I really wasn't planning on doing this. But my dad offered his help and while I had his help I figured I'd use it. Oh pop. Initially my rain harvest system was just kind of thrown up there at the barn just so I would have some water for the animals. I don't have any plumbing up at the barn so I needed the rain harvest system to get some water. What are you guys talking about? Just get in the pond. I've been trying to get dabbles and the ducks into the pond and they just won't go over the rock wall. And I have tried to herd them around here where they could go into the beach area where it's easier to get into the water but they always run away before they make it all the way to the beach. Soon dabbles, you're getting almost too big for this pond. Not necessarily his body size but his poop size. Not oh, bad. Yeah. But when I initially started homesteading, I didn't even have gutters up there on the barn. So with my dad's help, we got gutters on the front and back, and we piped it to the back corner of the barn where I set an IBC tote. I put one 275 gallon tote up there initially, and I painted it black to help reduce the algae growth. The less sun, the less algae. And I added two more tanks up there because I have a lot of animals, and they go through a lot of water fast, especially the ducks. Huh, oh guys, you coming up here real close. You foraging through all the algae I pulled out of this pond, huh? You go for it. Huh, pop. Oh, the geyser. That's another thing. Sometimes they got close to the rock wall and then the geyser would come on and they'd take off running like they are now. What are you doing? How far are you going? You stay close. Got Mumbles, Duke, and the ducks out there foraging at the field pond. And that's another thing I was working on today. I extended the duck fence out there past the pine tree. But to bring you up to speed, we wanted to move the rain harvest tanks that I had up there away from the barn a little bit. So it wasn't leaving a lot of weight pushing on the retainment wall of the barn. Water's really heavy and we have a bank barn. So the back wall of the barn is actually underground. So we didn't want the weight of the tanks right up against it pushing in on that wall. So whenever we set the tanks down originally, we set some stone down so it would distribute the weight of the water. And now with having three tanks up there, we decided to move them away from the barn a little bit more just so it wasn't pushing so close good guys find the water go right to the edge you can get in there but echo pup and i are going to be keeping an eye on dabbles and the ducks down here see if they jump into the pond i'm going to throw you back to see what we got done today on the rain harvest system
I hear you go. Nice man balls.
So as you can see here, we moved the rain tanks away from the back of the barn so they have a little bit more ground to sit on instead of just pushing against that back wall. I don't love how far away from the barn it is. It actually could be a little bit closer, but there's still a lot of work to do on this system to get it the way I want to. I want to get a first flush system on there so we can have some cleaner water. And I also want to get these hooked up to an overflow so all the extra water isn't just soaking into the ground back here. Well, you can see I have these two tanks hooked together and painted black. I need to get this tank painted black and I need to get some more fittings so I can have them all three hooked together. But down here I have an adapter that goes onto an IBC tote converting it to a garden hose thread. I then put a Y splitter on there so I can have it go into the barn to my 65 gallon tank and swing around here to the other 275 gallon. So at this point right now both of these tanks will fill up by the rain at the same time. And I need to get a few more fittings. I used a fern co for this one but I'd like to get another IBC tote adapter for this one to go to a garden hose. And then I can put a Y splitter on that middle tote and get another hose running to this one and all three of them will fill up at the same time. And I also need to get this third tank painted black. It'll look better with the other tanks back here, but it'll also help keep the algae growth down. The less sun you can get penetrating the tank, the less algae will grow. Huh, Pop? I hear you, Star. Just trying to wrap this up, girl. We ended up with a beautiful sky tonight. Huh, Pop? And like I said, I also got the duck fence extended a little bit further past the pine tree. The farmer that tends to the neighbor's fields just came through and planted all the soybean that's going to be growing up this year. And once it grows up, I know the ducks would love to go through there and forage through all the soybean. But I'm a little afraid they wouldn't come back if they went in. Right now, I only had enough posts to make it around the corner to about there. I do want to take it the rest of the way because all the way around here is going to be soybean fields. So I want to bring it all the way back here to the fence. And for the most part, I think that should fence in the ducks where they forage unless they start coming in this way past the driveway or this way past the house. It'll definitely help out. So I just put up a little knee-high two-foot fence just to keep the ducks inside. It's not a predator-proof fence, it's just to keep the ducks from going into the soybean field this year. Eventually, the plan would be fencing all four of my acres with the two-by-four fencing that I have on the animal enclosures. That way I could let more of the animals out the free range without them actually going into the neighbors. But it's a process, so I'm just building this piece by piece. And I also got the pig pen cleaned out this morning, so I feel like I made pretty good progress on the homestead today. The plan is to work on the outdoor pig pen this weekend, trying to get that closer to finished. So if you want to keep following along with everything here at Wood Acres, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit that like button before you leave, and you can see me and Echo on the next one. Thanks for watching. Good boy.